Hello everyone, myself Dr. Amit Maheshwari and welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. In this video, we are going to decode new NMC rule which is required to pass MBBS exam and this new NMC rule is known as a 60-40 or 40-60 rule. In today's video, we are going to see what this rule states and we will see different scenarios so that you can have clear understanding regarding this rule. So, let's start the video. This new rule was published in September 2023. Now let's see what this new rule states. As per this, as per this new rules, in the subject that have a two papers, learner must secure minimum 40% of marks in aggregate, that is both papers together, to pass in that particular subject. And previously, instead of this, student has to secure minimum 50% marks in aggregate, both papers together, to pass in a same subject. That was regarding the theory. Now, what was the what is the criteria to pass in a subject? So, as per the new rule, candidate shall obtain 50% marks in an aggregate and 60-40 minimum or 40-60 minimum in university conducted examination separately in theory as well as in the practical. Over here, practical includes practical, viva, and clinical. And instead of this new rule, previously we were following. 50% marks in university conducted examination separately in theory as well as in the practical in order to be declared as a passed in that subject. So that is regarding the new rule. Now let's understand this new rule by seeing the different scenario. Now let's see what this 60-40 or 40-60 rule means. So in either scenario that is in 60-40 or in 40-60 student has to score minimum 40% in theory as well as in the practical. That means, in theory, out of 200 marks, student has to score minimum 80 marks, that is minimum 40%. And in the practical, out of 100 marks, student has to score minimum 40 marks, that is minimum 40%. Now, there is a one addition to this 60-40 or 40-60 rule, that is 50% of aggregate. So, student to declare pass in that subject has to score 50 percentage of aggregate of both. That means out of 300 marks, student has to score minimum 150 marks to pass that particular subject. Now this is for the subject which has a two paper. Now what about the subject which has a one paper like ophthalmology or ENT? So over there, theory total marks will be the 100 marks and out of that student has to score 40 marks. And the practical will be the same that is of 100 marks. So the aggregate percentage will be out of 200 student has to score 100 marks. So that is about the subject which has a one paper. Now let's understand this with various scenario. So scenario number one is if the student has scored 80 marks out of 200 marks in a theory and 70 marks out of 100 marks in a practical. Over here in theory as well as in the practical, in both student has scored minimum 40% mark. And the aggregate of this two is 150 mark. So student is declared as a pass. That is scenario number one. Now let's see scenario number two. In the scenario number two, if the student has secured 70 marks out of 200 marks in a theory. And in the practical, if he or she has scored 80 marks out of 100 marks and the aggregate of both is 150 marks but still student is declared as a fail because in theory student is not able to secure minimum 40% mark. So in this scenario student will be failed. Now let's see the scenario number 3. So in the scenario number 3 if the student has secured 90 marks out of 200 marks in a theory and in practical 60 marks out of 100 marks in a practical. In both scenarios student has secured minimum 40% marks. And the aggregate of this two is 150 marks. So student is declared as a pass. Now let's see the last scenario. That is scenario number four. So over here, if the student has secured 111 marks out of 200 marks in a theory, and in the practical, he or she has secured 39 marks out of 100 marks. Even though the aggregate is 150, but he or she is declared as a fail because in the practical, he or C failed to minimum, failed to secure minimum 40% mark. So that is about this new 60-40 or 40-60 rule. And this rule is applicable for all the batches of MBBS. 
fine uh, whosoever gives the mbbs exam after publication of this rule they have to follow this new rule and as per this new rule gracing marks are not allowed so that is all about today's video thank you for watching please like share and subscribe biochemistry basics by dr amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from youtube channel thank you